In December, we went to Lombok, an island in Indonesia that experienced some large earthquakes in August of 2018. There was a lot of suffering in terms of people, you know, sleeping outdoors and not having livelihoods. But I think, really, if you look at it from the longer term, the crisis is that the population in Indonesia has grown very rapidly. They built many buildings, and many of them aren't to a standard that can withstand earthquakes. In order to reduce future impacts, we need to really understand in some detail what happened in these recent events. Uh, and the only way to do that, by and large, is to do these kind of surveys. We want to collect data so that we can forecast future impacts, inform policymakers, and try to persuade them to uh, adopt policies that will cause people to build better buildings. The main goal that we had in mind was to get information about building fragility. We want to know what type of buildings they were in, how bad the ground shaking was, and how much damage there was, and that helps us develop a fragility model. Well, if we have proper fragility models, we can at least forecast just how bad future earthquakes might be. And that means more to a policymaker, whereas as if we just tell them, uh, you know, you might experience uh, half a G of acceleration at this particular site over the next 10 years, that's a very high acceleration, but the number itself doesn't really mean that much to a policymaker. They really, I think they really need to be told, you know, how many people might be killed and how much economic loss that might be caused, and that's what these fragility models will give us. Knowledge is really the key to uh, getting better outcomes when these events happen in the future. My hope is that we'll be able to find ways that aren't so costly that will considerably mitigate their risk.